what you see here is a sine wave or part of a sine wave. So in this video, we are actually going to uh, learn about trigonometry using Scratch. All right, so this is a sine function. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So the hi so if you like draw a circle, I'll show you what I mean. So let's just draw a circle. Like that. Oh, wait. Let's just shift it to the center. And then we'll draw a line. So from here, we draw down here and here. So the sign is the opposite, which is this. All right, sign is the opposite this divided by the hypotenuse this. And if we call this angle A, then the sign of A will be this divided by this. The cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's this side over this side, or this side divided by this side. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent, so it's this side divided by this side. And you can duplicate them to see the other functions. Okay, this one is cosine. Alright, for this tangent one, we'll need some, we'll need an if then else block. Because over here, it goes really big. If then else, wait, we actually only need an if then. If then smaller than one eight one, if no, technically we only need one point eight one. If this is smaller than 1.81, then we'll do pen down. And also notice that the tangent curve is quite dotted. You should put an absolute value here. That is, if absolute of tangent of x position is smaller than 1.81. Then we'll get this. We can do turbo mode. Alright, so these are the graphs of tangent. And there are also those inverse functions. So like, that's the cosec function, which is the 1 divided by sine. But you can also make some strange functions like plus, plus. Two hundred. Scratch uses degrees, but you should use radians. Two pi radians is equals to. Alright, 2 pi radians is equals to a whole round of 360 degrees. We put this to get a strange sine wave.
So you can, so let's just go back to this set y to this. And all right, so we can also make strange movements, but you can do like this number, you, you can just put 50. You can put a plus sign if you want, but not. Which is basically the range like that. And this one is how long it takes to do one. So if you put like some crazy number like zero point which hundred, this is what you'll get. It doesn't even look like a sine wave at all. It looks like a bunch of white dots of, of or a bunch of black dots actually rather than a sine wave. And you can also make it move in strange movements. For example, we'll make a T, some variable called time, and we'll repeat. Nope. So we'll do a forever block. No, we need to set t to zero first. And we'll need to go to all right. I've made this code. So it's when this green flag is clicked, erase all pen up. Set t to zero, go to x hundred y zero, pan down, whoever go to x cosine of t times hundred y sine of t times hundred, and this will make a circle. Fast forward. And you can also do other things like Alright, up cosine is basically the inverse of cosine. If you do something like line, oh, sorry, we won't cover that. We're just going to cover things like sine and cosine. You can make cosine of p times 2 and all these trig functions. 50. So cool sign. So now zero fifty. And this is a graph. So it goes from here to here, then back to here, then to here. This can be shown if we put a white square. Or a red square. Now it moves from here to here and back to here. So thanks for watching. If you like it, please subscribe and that's the end of this video.